Happy Wednesday, everyone. It's a bonus coffee talk. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the Radical Geek YouTube channel. I'm going to do like a super quick short video today because I've been oh, super crazy all day, but my vehicles, but well, yes, it took me two vehicles to get everything ready for the convention are finally about 90% done. All I have left is electronics, which means I need to do this video because I'm behind. I meant to pre-record some and I just didn't get to it. And I'll, and uh, refrigeratables food and I need to bake some of the uh, egg buns. So that's not too bad. I feel like I'm in good shape. I plan to leave tomorrow around seven o'clock, but I do also need to pack my coffee and I have uh, Seattle's best of some pre-ground coffee in case I run into issues. But I've also uh, packed my little hand grinder. And at Costco, we lucked out. And I wanted to share this with you. They still have here the Lavazza Espresso Italiano coffee beans. It's a the whole bean coffee, it's a 2.2 pound pack. It is really reasonably priced, which is shocking for this brand. So also maybe not so shocking when you're buying in bulk at Costco, but it's delicious. And it's had the Death Star for a while. So if you are in your Costco and you drink coffee and you have a, grind, a nice burr grinder or even a crappy burr grinder, buy this coffee before it's gone because once it's no longer available in Costco, you'll have to order it online or at like a frou-frou shop and ka-ching. So I wanted to just put that out there for you. Plus also, like I said, a, a quick shorty video. Uh, the great thing about this is even though it says it's espresso blend, it's actually a light espresso roast, not the heavy full espresso roast. It's a medium, and on here somewhere it does, it says it's a 5 out of 10 for roast, which is a good medium. It's 100% a Arabica beans, so I know I usually talk a lot, a lot about loving the Robusto, which are usually my favorites. This is like the exception to the rule because it doesn't get extra bitter like these sometimes can. Uh, these guys have got it down. Now, this is an Italian coffee, so... Uh, obviously they've been in the business for a really long time in addition to that so it's Italian but Lavazza is distributed through New York so uh, it's got like a a nice little import going but they're really good and uh, Lavazza has been around actually it might say on the package I was gonna say I was gonna guess okay so I was a little off but not by much I was thinking like the 1850 but it says since 1895 not bad and uh, so really really good and I just wanted to make sure that I recommend it to you because we talk about a lot of keto products but as you know uh, coffee and cheese are my two number one things that I just cannot do without and so when I find something that I know is super good high extra quality I want to make sure and share that with you plus you know we've had like a lot of serious chats lately and so I thought something a little lighter might be fun I might be doing a bonus video or so this weekend. To be honest, I've never uh, really gone out and done the motion video, and I don't have my GoPro right now, so it's going to be on the phone, and I don't know if that's going to work out or not. We'll find out. If it doesn't work out, then there won't be a bonus, but I am going to be in my hotel room. As a reminder, Sunday night, our video... Our, our live stream might be short, might not. We'll see how it goes because there is that staff dinner that I wheedled my way out of. But if I'm honest, it's not like the worst thing for me to not just be the uh, the uh, cranky old lady from the tabletop board game room. So we'll see. But I still have everything ready and loaded into the car. So we've got our crepes ready. I've got my, uh, my uh, Prismo attachment for the AeroPress. And now you know what the coffee of the week's going to be. A little preview, I guess. So I, I actually wouldn't mind uh, knowing about some more questions. I know we have a few topics to cover in the future, like we've talked about uh, how good it would be to go over cycling gears and the handlebars, how those work and function. Uh, 
it's on my ticker list, but it's a little harder to do that in the winter. It's going to be much easier to film that outside. So I've got that on the back burner. I know we've talked about doing some workouts and um, my studio downstairs is a little bit small and to try and uh, move everything to set up the workout, uh, a workout station to film in because my regular workout area is not that conducive to filming. Uh, will be a little bit of effort and I'm going to put that in, but it's just going to take me a little time. From there, I know I also said we would talk about being able to do some desk exercises and I put some of those workouts together. I wanted to tweak them a little bit because I feel some of it might be hard. And so I want to make sure that I have a, a version for someone who is more fit and be a version for a, a beginner and see a version for someone who is uh, mobility uh, challenged. So I want to make sure that I have all of the good information put together. Also, I want to make sure that I'm talking with my uh, soon-to-be uh, partner on uh, some of the fitness things we've been working on. I, uh, as you know, I've been going to school to get a certification uh, through the fitness program at OSU. And that's been going pretty awesome. But I also met someone that I really hit it off with. And we have a lot of the same philosophies and uh, things going on together. And so we started doing some collaboration collaboration together. And so some good stuff might be coming. Probably not for like the, uh, until late summer, though. All of this stuff that's going to be super exciting. But it's all like, I have to tell you, just wait. <laughs> I know that, that sucks because, you know, the anticipation is always really hard. But again, back to this, the Lavazza Espresso Italiano. If it's still in your Costco and it doesn't have the Death Star, stock it up because they've put it on the chopping block and it won't be around a whole lot longer. It's going to rotate out. I'm sure they'll bring it back because a lot of things like this do run in cycles. But yeah, this is the one. The other thing, by the way, uh, since I was able to pick up a bag to take to the convention, while ours did not have the Death Star at the Polaris Costco in Columbus, I have been reading online that a lot of the Costcos are putting that little Death Star on the high-low chips. So if you are a fan of those, you should know that if they're in your Costco, uh, now's the time to pick up a bag and enjoy it for a, a while. I, it, they tend to last us quite a while because it's it's a large bag and we don't eat them that often. This bag won't last that long because we're taking it to a convention, and that means sharing with quite a few people. I'm pretty sure that means it'll go very fast, especially since uh, the staff, often even though the uh, convention feeds all of the staff and volunteers uh, over the course of the week, it's not like all, every meal every day. They feed them, uh, I believe it's 10 meals, and two of them are staff banquets. So, you know, over the course of five days, that's not a lot of meals if you are uh, economically challenged and you work the con so that you could get uh, crash space and stuff. So I always try to make sure that I have extras to like be like, hey, child, look at you. You look so hungry here. You know, play my mom role, but only with uh, other uh, con going people. So Lavazza Espresso Italiano. It's a really good cup. This is the last of our old bag of this. So. I obviously love it. Um, mm. Really good. And this was not even a, a good fancy brew. Uh, this was, I actually just, we just ran it through the drip. So, because we we're tired and in a hurry. It's been a long day. It's going to be a long week for the convention. So, if it's good, even in the drip coffee, which, you know, normally you don't give a crap because it is what it is but uh it's it's even good in there so a huge thumbs up thanks everybody i will talk to you soon don't forget death star oh no and if you aren't subscribed go ahead and subscribe and then hit the little bell icon so you're notified because i do upload videos on monday wednesday and friday and then have a live stream on sunday and the Sunday live stream, we call it Coffee Talk because we often brew a warm beverage. More often than not, it is a coffee-based beverage. And then we talk about its history and origins and then basically just chit-chat amongst ourselves and have a nice evening connecting. So, oh, and I pair it with a ketogenic recipe. So 
it's a good time and I look forward to seeing more of you and connecting. Like I said, I'll see you on Sunday. We'll be doing crepes and the uh, fellow Prismo with the Aeropress. Bye-bye.